for saving you will need to press ctrl and s button if you press ctrl s button so you can save your documents okay or you can simply click on file and here you can see we have two option actually save option for initial saving okay for example if you want to save your file okay and your uh, saving is initial so you can save click on this uh, button but if you have already saved a file and you want to save same file in same direction with new name then you will need to use save as option okay so i will just click on save option because uh, we didn't save our documents okay so i will click on save so you can see we have lots of uh, options i mean when you click on this save as type so you will see this type of option for example if you save your documents in this first option i mean if you save in word document so your file will be saved in microsoft office 2010 it's not important or it's not matter that it's uh, if you use this option and your file will be saved in microsoft office 2010 actually if you use this default option so your documents will be saved in which version now you are working for example if you now using uh, ms office 2013 and if you save in this uh, option using this option using this default option so your documents will be saved in uh, in which version uh, version you are now working so now you can see i am working in microsoft 2010 and definitely if i use this option so my document will be saved in microsoft 2010 version if you use this option so keep in mind if you send your file to someone who have not 2010 version or uh, new version uh, after 2010 so they cannot open your file okay because you saved your documents in ms office ms word 2010 because when you send your file so you don't know that uh, you will send to how many people for example if you have cvs or if you have some uh, academic profile and you want to looking and you looking for a job so definitely first of all you will need to create your pro portfolio okay in ms word and then you will need to send many people as a email or um, this type of things so if you send to different companies and something like that actually you don't know that uh, uh, those people which version using okay for example if you send your file to 20 people and some people using 2003 version microsoft 2003 version and some using 2010 2009 2008 are this type of things so definitely you will need to use this third one option which is word 97 2003 documents if you use this option so your document can be open uh, from 97 version to any of latest version for example if you save in this uh, format okay if you save in this type and you send your file or whatever to many people so they all can be open your file and they all uh, or can be uh, view your file because you use 97 to 2003 version which is a older version uh, i am i mean uh, you are using latest version but your save uh, format is older version so definitely you will need to use this option okay but in this option have some issues some have trouble uh, is that that if you use this option so maybe your some latest option or some your uh, advanced option which is you can only use in latest version it will be uh, erased or it will be replaced with older version okay older version effects so it's all depending on you okay if you want to use it so you can use so that's it you can also use this one this is default and this is 97 and you can skip other these all but we will learn how you can um, create a pdf file from your documents from your project which you have created or which you have uh, 
design in uh, Microsoft MS Word but we will learn this thing in a separate tutorial okay so now we will learn only how you can save your file so for this time I will save my file in default version which is for uh, Word document I will click on it and simply click on save you can choose your uh, location in which uh, location you want to save and just simply click on save and your document will be saved 